Sales of electric vehicles in the U.S. are up 63% from a year ago. That means higher demand for the metals needed to make EV batteries. In tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Ben Tracy does a deep dive into how artificial intelligence is helping find those materials in a place you might not expect. This underwater robot being lowered into Lake Huron is built by a company called Impossible Metals. Impossible because this is hard to do? Yes, very much so. That's because its job is to mine the bottom of the ocean. Deep sea mining is the concept of pulling metals off the ocean floor. Company co-founder Renee Grogan says parts of the ocean floor are filled with potato-sized rocks containing vast amounts of cobalt, copper, and nickel, metals needed to make batteries for electric cars. How much of this stuff is down there? A lot. The second question is how do you get it? We watched a test of their prototype, which used a retractable arm to pluck rocks off the bottom of the lake. The real thing will be three times larger and travel four miles down into the deep sea. Each $5 million robotic vehicle uses cameras and artificial intelligence to find rocks that contain metals, but not animal life. So the claws themselves are driven by the AI and saying, take it, leave it, take it, leave it, to be able to ensure that the ecosystem on the seafloor remains intact. Typical deep sea mining uses robot vacuums to dredge the seafloor and could soon be approved in what's known as the Clarion Clipperton Zone, two million square miles of the Pacific Ocean rich with mineral deposits. Scientists are worried that mining here will destroy the habitat of thousands of rare deep sea species and spread plumes of toxic sediment. We can't um, try to save the planet by breaking the planet in the process. Those several years of mining are gonna cause centuries of damage. Renee Grogan says deep sea mining can be done responsibly with artificial intelligence. She expects her company's technology to be deployed within five years, and that could lead to a slight name change. I'm looking forward to the day we can just, yeah, take, <laughs> take those two off. off and look at that. Change it's the possible. name again. <laughs> For Ion America, Ben Tracy on the shores of Lake Huron.